Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to generate a battery health report on your laptop or tablet device running Windows 10. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by right clicking on the start button. And then you want to left click on command prompt and in parentheses admin. So you want to left click on that one time. And if you receive a user account control window asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, you want to click on yes. So now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video. I want you to paste in exactly how I'm about to show you guys. And that would be to right click on this top bar up here. And then left click on edit. And then left click on paste. So you can always copy it however you would normally prefer. And there's other ways to paste it into the command line window as well. So I'm happy to be getting this unable to perform operation because this is a desktop computer and does not rely on a traditional battery setup that you would have on a laptop or a mobile device. So in order to show you guys still where you would go to find your battery report. So in most cases, this should run successfully. And once it's done running, it should say that the battery life report was saved to the C drive. So we're just going to close out the command line window. So if you were using a laptop or tablet in order to retrieve the battery report, all you're going to do is open up File Explorer. So either click on the little icon on the desktop or going on the Start menu and type in File Explorer. And now I'm going to go underneath this PC. And now our output folder was the C drive, which should be for just about everybody because the command did output it to the C drive. So you'll double click on the C drive. And listed here, there should be an HTML file that says battery report. It will, it'll likely be near the bottom of the list and it'll be pretty apparent where it is. And if you double click on it, it should open up a web browser and it'll give you different statistics like usage history, your battery life estimates and whatnot. So it'll give you a lot of very valuable information. It just happens to be I'm on a desktop computer so I can't show you guys, but it's pretty simple. So I felt like it wasn't gonna be a big deal if you could actually see it or not. But like I said, just run that command in an elevated command line window, like we did in this tutorial, and then open up File Explorer, go to your local C drive, and it should be listed in here. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.